Welcome back to part two of my Let's Play Land of the Dead Road to Fiddler's Green. I had a recording error with this section, so I am having to redo it again. Um, we'll, get, we'll get back to the main game after the next section, but don't worry about that yet. How about that corn, huh? Okay, when you're playing this game for real, it's best to draw the zombies out of the cornfield. But um, I enjoy my blood harvest, so I am going to just walk casually through it and listen for them. Okay, you know what? Fine. If you don't get, I'm tired of this headshot crap not working with this gun. In fact, if you don't get a headshot... There we go. If you don't get a headshot with this gun, it can take six shots to kill him. So this thing is actually weaker than the 22. Yeah, that's a lot of fun, isn't it? Okay, you know what? I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna try to get by them. The... The heck? Ah, oh, crap. Where the heck am I? I thought if you just hug the wall, you can get out of here. I see you down there. Ha! That worked. Oh crap, I'm back where I started. Alright. Take the medication. Alright, should be far right. It should get me out. There should be like three more zombies in the cornfield with me. Uh, we'll see how that turns out. Just follow this fence. I should be able to get out of here. There we go. Well, that was kind of embarrassing. Okay, another little mini puzzle in the game. I want to call it that. It's more like find the red key card, but still. I just got to get to the shed back here behind this section of the warren field, which is much smaller than the last. And grab the pliers. Or, uh, not pliers, uh, bolt cutters. Too bad you can't use those as a weapon. Oh, and here, and here we have our first uh, radio broadcast, and I'll try to stay in here and play it. We are interrupting our normal broadcast to bring you this important bulletin. We are this concerning reports of mass murder from all the killings as we come in. Although there was no official statement from law enforcement... Oh, can't handle two. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, no. Let me out, let me out. I do not want to replay this again. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I meant to do that. Jeez, I'm gonna die on the second level. Okay, okay. Okay, last one. And I missed part of the radio broadcast. Great. Maybe, I'll see if I can, uh... Find them and dump them in later, the radio broadcasts for you, instead of just staying in here in this death trap. <laughs> Are you still trying to follow me? Jeez. Ugh. Well, that was extremely embarrassing. Open it. Open it. Open it. Oh my gosh. Finally, this level ends. Hopefully, I can do better this time. <laughs> I don't know why there's a break in the action here. This level itself is extremely short. This is the easiest level in the game. And I think we actually... I think we might even fight less zombies than the first level. Uh, I see him curled up. He won't get up and bite us. Alright. And no, I'm not, like, walking slow because I'm injured. This is how he walks normally. And we got the full health pack. Time to go kill something. I'm sure that... Alright, now I get to embarrass them. Ha! Yeah, just stand there and take it to the head. Okay. I wonder if there's... I wonder if I missed anything back here. Looks like, nope. Sorry, I just wasted your time there. Let me catch my breath. I had to 
run up a flight of stairs. Come on, Jack. I think it's just the one zombie upstairs, but I know there's one downstairs. Usually he just gets lost on the staircase and just lets you shoot him. Oh, he sees me this time. That's That hardly ever happens. Come on. I just need to put one bullet in him. Yeah, this game is great if you want to learn how to count to four real well. Um, in fact, this is a le another level like the first one where you have to kill all the zombies before it, you know you can go to the next level. And as long as you kill them as you see them, the final climatic, you know, the, the final fight at the end is really, really pathetic. But now, let's check out our neighbors. Yeah, that's not a bad sign. Wow. Yeah, let me just lock myself in here with the dead bodies. My neighbors were dead. I didn't know what the heck was going on, and I was scared to death. Reports of violence are coming in from neighboring <laughs> states. We're unsure at this moment what to make of the situation. The governor is telling everyone to stay in their homes and has issued a... Uh, one moment, folks. Something has just come across my desk. I'm getting reports that the... I'm having trouble reading this bulletin. But I've been told this has been confirmed by official sources. It appears that the dead are coming back to life and eating the flesh of the living. This is unbelievable news we're hearing. Uh, I, for one, am truly shocked. For those of you tuning in, this is not a joke. Something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. I just can't get over that newscaster's voice. Uh, if I heard him telling me that zombies were coming, you know, as paranoid as I am, I would just let it go. Alrighty, we have three zombies in the house to kill and two outside. Let's just go ahead and put these two down. Yeah, so two zombies left. And, you know, since I'm gonna trash through this uh, section anyway and uh, go back to my original game after I beat this level, I think I might just demonstrate uh, the secret weapons in the game, the Kung Fu Fists. Yes, it's as bad as it sounds. Uh, there's some ammo and stuff in the cabinets up here, but uh, and I think a couple of health kits. No, there's health kits in the bathroom upstairs. And there's revolver ammo in that nightstand in here. But, you know, I don't need that right now because I am about to get the most annoying weapon in the game. No kung fu? Oh yeah. Is that annoying? How about that? Yeah. I don't care how strong these things are, just hearing that repeated ad nauseum is just enough to drive you insane. Yeah, so uh, join me in part three where I go back to my original game and don't use these horrible, annoying fists. of what have been described as bloodied corpses have been seen marching throughout downtown. Reports of walking dead are coming in from around the tri-state area. Whatever is going on, it is not a local phenomenon. Clearly, this is a very dark time, a very confusing time. It is unclear why or how this is happening. This just in, the governor has issued this short statement. Stay in your homes and lock your doors. Do not trust anybody. I did what the man on the TV said and stayed on the farm as long as I could. I got by okay, but those corpses kept coming. The shortwave radio said that the military had some safe houses set up in the city. I was running low on supplies and starting to go crazy all by myself. I had nothing to lose. The city looked like a war zone. Roads everywhere were blocked. I didn't know where to go until I noticed a flicking light in the hospital up ahead. Someone was signaling SOS. I wasn't gonna let a few blocked roads stop me from getting to another living person. I'd go on foot. <laughs> 